Hello there! In this video I will show you how to create a Java web application and deploy it to OpenShift using IntelliJ IDEA. OpenShift is Red Hat's platform as a service that allows you to host and scale applications in the cloud. Let's start by creating a new application from the dashboard. For the purpose of this video I will use the JBoss application server cartridge. In your case it may be any other cartridge from the list. After we select the application settings, OpenShift will take some time to set up the application. Once the setup is over, we can switch to IntelliJ IDEA. Before we import our application to the IDE, let's go to the cloud settings and configure our OpenShift account. We enter a username, password, and domain. We click the test connection button to make sure these credentials are valid. One more thing we need to do before importing is upload a public SSH key, which is required by OpenShift for authorization. After the key is uploaded, we can import the application from its Git repository. Let's copy the repository URL from the application settings in the dashboard. Now we click Check out from version control on the welcome screen and paste the URL. This information is good enough for IntelliJ IDEA to import an application from OpenShift. When importing, the IDE automatically detects the pom.xml file and sets up the project for us. Now, to deploy the application, we need to create an OpenShift run configuration. When the run configuration is created, we can simply click the run button to deploy and run the application. Once the deployment is finished, we can open the application in the browser. Now let's change something on the index page and make sure the change is applied after redeployment. Notice how we're redeploying by clicking the debug button. It takes a bit to deploy our changes to the cloud. And now we can see the updated applications page in the browser. Now let's get back to the IDE and add a breakpoint to some Java class invoked from a JSP page. Then switch to the browser and open our JSP page. As you can see, the IDE has immediately stopped at our breakpoint. Click the resume button to proceed with loading the page. That's pretty much it for today. Now you know how to import an OpenShift application to IntelliJ IDEA, how to deploy it, and how to debug it.